He just, he, he died. Me Flanagan is just died. Suddenly. And I'm left all alone. I'm disappointed in the Lottie. Here we have a room full of the Irish, bar full of the drink, a dead man in the box, and I haven't heard any singing yet. Flanagan's mother doesn't understand Flanagan the way I did. I loved me Flanagan. I was his favorite. He loved me, only me. Egypt. Egypt. Absolutely. That's what he used to call his mum behind her back. Oh, as the only writer of any note in town, I took it upon myself on this sad occasion to write an epic poem about the man himself. And entitled it, The Man Himself. Oh, that is apt. That's right. He did not care for his mum. He loved only me. That's what oh, he was like saying. Oh, like a nene, fit to So she's left to her wheelchair and without her Flanagan to, to push around. And she's going on a hike right now. I ran all the way to the pub and I went up to Flanagan and I said, Flanagan, whatever you do, don't go to a reenactment camp, even if they give you a Guinness. Flanagan, you're dead. And we're not. So, here's to you before you rot. And I'm, I'm solo. Uh, are you single? Anybody out there? Single? Because it's just me now, without me flying again. The man was brilliant. He always had a way of getting that Guinness truck to stop just long enough so we could gather up a barrel or two and push it aside. He was there a good man, is. he was. To Flanagan! To Flanagan! To Flanagan! To Flanagan.